guys, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of The Screening Room with Adenike. And of course, I'm your host, Adenike. Alright, so today, I'll be talking about another brand new Nigerian Nollywood movie titled Iore, The Return, Life After Life. Okay? <laughs> That's a mouthful. The movie was produced and directed by Frank Raja Araste. This movie is a must-watch. You must watch it. And you can watch it on Iroko TV. So I'm just going to put that out there before I even get into my review. Sit back, relax. Enjoy the show and I'll be right back. What the people say? Lie with second heart. I am interested in what the gods say. The gods say nothing. This war is not a conflict between two kingdoms, but for the grief of one man. Alright, guys, welcome back. So today you already return life after life. Is a movie that was produced and directed by Frank Raja and I said the movie features Rita Dominic and which is a Benjamin Yemi Black Bookie Wright Paul Obasile and a host of, of other people Osama Shazney was in it as well um yeah lots of people in this film the movie tells the story of a young maiden named Amaze she was a virgin in the Benin old Benin kingdom and um she was being you know taken care of like a chicken you know being led to the slaughter so you know they, they, they treated her well she was dressed well she was eaten well uh, but also she could be buried alive with the king whenever the king died but unfortunately or fortunately depending on how you look at it <laughs> she falls in love and gets pregnant for a guy and then they decide to run away now fast forward into the future we meet Osagwe played by Rita Dominic and Osagwe is another lady with a very uh, complicated love life and love story and so at the end of the movie we we're left trying to decipher what the connection is between Amenza's life and Osagwe's life okay I'm going to stop right there I'm giving this movie four over five I absolutely love it adds up to frank raja for a job well done now why was this movie so amazing number one the casting of the movie with sir dominic bookie Wright, paul obatoli just a benjamin yemi black i mean the caliber of actors and actresses in this movie you know that, that's not okay cool, you know so they're, they're all in their own right they're all really good actors and actresses so putting them together made them gel really really well there was good chemistry between with sir dominic and Jamie Black and just a Benjamin, you know. Paul Obasile made a very, very good king. Uh, I don't think he played the role so well. And it was nice to see him on screen again as well. Another thing I liked was the production quality, the sound, um, picture, you know, cinematography, the directing. The movie was Frank Raja directed this movie so well. You know, you could tell he paid attention to a lot of details in this film. And of course, you know, the, the movement of the cameras and the, the tracking of each scene or every other thing in the movie you know that made it very interesting as well but one major thing that stood out was of course number one the fact that it was set back in the Benin kingdom and number two the storyline so it wasn't just a typical um love story it was a love story with with, with a twist to it you know so so I, I i loved that about it and then by the time we finished watching the movie you're like wow a lot of time money and effort has been put into this movie and you can see it so i think you would absolutely enjoy watching it because i loved it and i think i described it in my notes i described it as one of the best movies yet in 2015 that we've seen however the movie was not without flaws and one of the major things that i hated about the movie was that it tried to do too much like we'll be in the past then we'll be in the future then we'll be in the present then back to the future then back to the present then back to the past like they were just here and there and here and there it was so confusing whoever wrote the screenplay tried to do too freaking much <laughs> and i was so upset because you cannot watch it once and understand it heads up you have to watch it at least three times and even at that third time you have to pay extra attention to be able to understand it you know because i was like what is going on and there is there is there's the, there's the narrator and which i don't think is narrating and then she's acting and i'm like okay wait is she telling the story has is she telling her whole story or it was just too confusing and then by the time you get to the the end of the movie you're like hell no <laughs> pardon my part of my language but you're like what that is not possible you know so it's just like i don't believe this but in as much as so i so i i, I didn't i didn't quite like that because 
nobody has time to sit down and keep watching a movie over and over and over again to be able to get it. You know, you know what I'm saying? So they tried to do much and they, they didn't transition well. So it's it's a different thing if you try to do a lot, but you, you're able to arrange it in such a way that, okay, even the dumbest person can follow it and still understand it. But they tried to do too much. They did not arrange the, the they did not arrange the movie well. And then it was not, you know, felt like it was all over the place. Like, okay, I've been here all the time watching this movie and I did not miss anything, but I still don't get it. You know, that kind of feeling. So I, I, I love that was a major, 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 major flaw for me in this movie. And then the fact that it was super long. It was like two hours long or something there, but it was just, it was just so long. And I was like, ah, you know. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I thought it was a really, really good movie. I think you definitely need to see it. Just you know heads up and if you watch it once and understand it please come and tell me maybe i'm the one that but i'm not the one because i've spoken to a few people that have seen the movie <laughs> and they actually said they have, they've seen it twice and they still don't get it but hey you know i might be wrong and you just might get it <laughs> okay so make sure to go watch the movie like i said earlier on it's going to be on your local tv uh go check it out over there thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay tuned to this channel stay subscribed i'm going to be coming to you with more movie reviews as you go along okay thank you so much god bless you enjoy the rest of your week <laughs> bye bye